And when you need a goal, you call upon John Sutton, who sends Kello the wrong way. Motherwell are still alive in their bid for Premiership survival. Mallon delivers one over for Naismith. That should be Long's. Oh, but there's a mix-up between George Long and Mark O'Brien. And the ball has ended up in the back of the net. Naismith takes the credit. It was his sliding cross that kept the attack going. And O'Brien, the unlucky defender. Motherwell defending with ten men. And here's Stevie Mallon with time and space. Oh, and what a goal from Stevie Mallon. One of just a few bright sparks in St Mirren's season has been this man, Stevie Mallon. Crawford's corner. And Taglia Pietra with the header. A commanding header from the big Brazilian. In his first start for Hamilton, he scores his first goal. Woods Kish is in there keeps it alive for Gardine it's a great hit from Michael Gardine and Ross County have found what could be such an important equaliser still Ross County on the attack though Woods is corner it drops for Boyce the ten men have done it and that could be the goal that keeps Ross County in the Scottish Premiership Liam Boyce has done it. Cahoon back to Irvin. Daniels lets that one bounce. McAllister, Tankalich now, and dinks it over Scott Brown. An inventive finish from Luka Tankalich. Just his second league goal for the club. But didn't McAllister do well too? Robson. They're all forward now for Aberdeen. It's Rooney! He's done it again. 28 for the season. Scott Brown was up there looking to sniff in and around the six-yard box. But it's that man Rooney with the final touch. Tanzi giving the signal to those in the middle. It's for a far post delivery for Warren. Oh, and a great chance for Meekings. Was it across the line? Yes, says Craig Thompson, helped out by his assistant. And Robbie Muirhead will see a yellow card for his attempts to deceive the officials as he made the save on the line. But the shot from Meekings had already crossed. It is Josh Meekings' goal. And Inverness... Open the scoring after 55 minutes. Josh Meekings, the goal scorer. Tanzi. Shot blocked. Comes back to Greg Tanzi. This time searches out Shinny. Shinny, right footed. Might come for Watkins. Vincent. And Ross. And at last, Inverness have the second goal. It's Nick Ross with ten minutes to play. Just his third of the season. Dundee United failing to clear their lines. Eventually it dropped for Ross. Watkins kept calm. Vincent's effort was going off target, but Meeking set up Ross. And he finished it well. Inverness, Caledonian Thistle 2, Dundee United 0. Tanzi. There's Warren! And two goals in the space of three minutes make it 3 0. And the three points are now a certainty for John Hughes' side. Frustrations continue for Dundee United. The penalty has been given, and it's Jamie Hamill. Saved by Fox, Hamill at the rebound! And what a big goal that could be for Kilmarnock! Jamie Hamill celebrates his first goal 
since returning to Kilmarnock. Obadai, that's the second goal. Kilmarnock have a cushion now. And it's Tropi Obadai. That's eight goals for the season. What a fine header that was. Alexei Aramenko. Obadai is there and he's done it again. That's five goals he's scored against Partick Thistle this season. A touch of fortune about the finish. Higginbotham to take the corner. Balatoni's header. And Partick Thistle have got one back. A free header for Balatoni. Well finished off. Bannigan spreads the play out wide to Elliott. Elliott looking to get the ball onto the right foot. Heavy touch by Wilson. Now Eremenko. He's been at the heart of everything that's been good for Kilmarnock. And he's now looking to release McGuinness. Mistake by Balatoni. Josh McGuinness is in here. Slips it through the legs of Fox. And McGuinness restores the three-goal lead. Well, where has this result come from? Partick Thistle were in fantastic form before today. Kilmarnock couldn't buy a win, but McGuinness has slotted in their fourth of the afternoon. And there is nothing like a goal to solve your problems.